Welcome to the NetSuite ARAP Transactions Upload Training Session. This is part of a larger series of when we do a NetSuite implementation, we have to migrate data from one system. Usually it's a QuickBooks or an Intact into NetSuite. And if the client wants the detailed transactions for AP or AR, that's how we do the upload. And because we've made so many mistakes and done this so many times, we want to share our mistakes with you so that you can avoid them. And so in this training session, we're going to cover the data migration process, the list or the order sequence of how you upload it, and then specifically dive into the ARAP transaction upload and show you how that process is done in NetSuite. The data migration process has five steps. First is to identify the data to be migrated. Two is to prepare the CSV file. Three is to upload data in NetSuite. Four is resolve the issues. Five is to validate the data. And you'll repeat this process over and over until all the data has properly been loaded. And if the data isn't loaded right, you may skip this process. But if you skip one of these steps and don't do the validation or resolve the issues, you'll definitely know it when you're, it's time to actually use the system. So here are the five types of list that you'll upload. You'll first start with a chart of accounts because that's the foundation to any ERP system. You then load on employees list, customers list, vendors list, and fixed assets. And now that you have basically the skeleton of your ERP system, now we can actually give details to the customers and the vendors. So the transactions, the activities, that's what some, some of our clients want to know historically. What were the AR transactions, the invoices, and the payments? That's what we're talking about here. So the typical transactions and activities that we upload are journal entries, AR transactions and AP transactions. And here we focus on AR and AP because they're very similar. Journal entries is a separate training because journal entries is different and unique from the AP and AR transactions. So here are the three things you have to remember in the AP AR transactions upload. One is that the AP AR transactions require two files, a header file and a line level file. A header file will show you an example. A header file is basically the summary. If you have a sales invoice for a total of $1,000, that's what the header line is. The line level file is the one that says for this $1,000, we bought two items. One item is for $700 and one item is for $300. So you need almost the, the summary and then each of the details that roll up into that summary file. Number two is that there's one unique external ID is allowed in the header file. What that means is when you have a sales invoice number, that's what's called a unique uh, external ID. An internal ID is an ID that NetSuite is built into the NetSuite system. But if you're implementing the system and your invoice numbers, you, you start out with the two zero or you have alphanumeric, that's unique and it's an, an ID that you are allowed to assign. So you can assign one unique one. And each unique ID is a transaction. That's great because each sales transaction or each sales invoice should be unique. We don't want two sales invoice out there with the same number. So, so each sales number, if it has the ID, that's one individual transaction. Now we're going to show you next the actual process of uploading the AP or AR transaction in NetSuite. Okay, we are going to upload an AR AP transactions. They're very similar to each other. Go to Setup, Import Export, Import CSV records. Import type is transactions. Record type is invoice. Now you're going to click multiple files to upload. 
For primary, choose the header file. For invoice items, choose line file. Remember this is where I mentioned you have two files, the summary and the detail. Choose next. And then in the add, click add, click next. Under the drop down menu for primary file key column, choose external ID. External ID is an ID that we give it, not what NetSuite internally generates. Under column, choose external ID. Click next. Map the PO number equal to PO hashtag or PO number. Choose next. Now you can input name for the file and click save and run. You'll see the green box to show that it's successfully uploaded and click the link. And now you see it processing one record successfully uploaded. There we go. That's it.